gonna dig us out a tree? I'm gonna dig us out a tree and give them hands some shade in about 20 years. We're planning this the, in the chicken run area so they have more shade, but it's a pine tree. That's gonna take so long to grow. You want a new home little tree? You wanna move? You silly girls, what are you doing back here? This is a little egg. So cute. It looks like a quail egg. It's even smaller than a quail egg. It's like a. What do you think laid it? Probably one of those misbehaving chickens that need to be chicken soup. No. Yeah, you don't produce you, eggs, you become soup. You mean one of the chickens that did that? Yeah, that's them, I'm telling you. I don't know, but you just say that because one time I busted them. I busted them? And you busted him, that's two times. Wait, come over here, let me take a picture of you. All right. This is our tree we pulled from down on the property. Now we're gonna put it here in the middle of this little chicken courtyard. This is a little yard, a little front yard. We're saving ourselves from having to dig a hole by putting it in the fire pit. All right, but what do I have to put around this? Dirt, I was gonna put dirt around it. Isn't that what you kind of use when you plant things? Dirt? Uh, oh yeah, that's heavy dirt. <sighs> Whenever we plant a tree up here, we kind of mix or layer the sort of natural earth that's around it and dirt mixed with some of our horse manure, some of Nelson's manure. And also we stick in some uh, some mulch, some wood chips that we have. Oh yeah. Well, it's like nutrients, but also water retention. Water retention because it's water dry. tends to just like, it's super dry up here and water either. Just sit on top and evaporate or soak through too fast. So. Yeah. Maybe some more dirt. Mm -hmm. And those are all wood chips from its own kind of tree. Ponderosa. And these things get dwarf mistletoe and it kills the tree. So this is a really healthy baby tree. And a lot of our trees are diseased, so. Jeez, it's good to replace that. some. Look at Dolly's all, she all angry. We had a bit of an issue. I came out here the other day and I noticed one of our younger reds had had her back all pecked out. Then I started examining and there were a few other, the wine dots, which are the black and white spot one, spotted ones. They also had some pecking at their like back, like right between their wings. From what I've read, a lot of this stems from space, but it's also just pecking order. So in order to rectify both of those things, we've expanded their outside area, sort of temporarily until we're able to put in the fencing and that we want, the sort of permanent fencing. But we also, there's a lot of things on our property that we want to fence it in a certain way and that will allow our animals to sort of roam more free. Uh, but we're not quite ready to do that because that's a big project. So we built in this little temporary little courtyard out here and um, to give them more space. But they'll only be able to use it when we're home. Otherwise they're gonna still have to be in the run that we initially built. Uh, so we got them space, but we also are going to get them a rooster tonight because roosters are supposed to help with putting out fights and stop arguing and fighting. We're going to get ourselves a rooster tonight. Hopefully between adding more space and bringing in a rooster, there's a bug on the lens. It'll put an end to the unnecessary bullying of the chickens, the hens. So that's what we're doing out here. Blue, that looks beautiful. That looks nice. But how are we gonna protect that tree from the hens? Your favorite. Wire? Wire. It's your little fence to protect. How's that not gonna blow away? How is the wind gonna blow away the wire? Oh my gosh, the wire is flying away. Ah, 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 ah. It smells like Sprite. 
Matt is afraid to show you the recipe card for HelloFresh because he's afraid his isn't going to look as good as... Nah, I got full confidence. I'm going to make this paint look pretty. I mean, like, that's pretty, but I'm going to make mine look pretty. Actually, we had another HelloFresh recipe this week. That was, like, one of the prettiest HelloFresh plates I've ever... Just prettiest plates in general that I've ever served up. And I was kind of mad that... I didn't film that one for you guys. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. HelloFresh makes it super simple. They deliver you step-by-step -step recipes with pre-measured ingredients so you know you're going to deliver like a really yummy, tasty meal to your dinner table and everybody's going to love you for it. They also make it super convenient. You can add extra meals to your week. If you're feeling like a little stressed out and you need more than just like two or three, you can add desserts, garlic bread, all sorts of yummy things. And because HelloFresh has over 20 chef curated recipes, it'll get you out of eating the same thing every week because I know that happens here. And uh, my family appreciates it when it gets like broken up a little bit with something new and exciting. And now HelloFresh is from 566 per serving, which makes it America's number one meal kit. So get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter your promo code MattBlue80. Or you can just click the link in our description. It makes it even easier. Bushaka. Speaking on some like personal experience, one of my favorite things about HelloFresh, is really honest, is I find myself, when I, even when I'm not cooking a HelloFresh meal, I find myself using sort of all the skills and things that I've learned from doing this over the past three years to just like take my meals to the next level. And I know you and Crow have noticed it too. But even things like when I made tacos the other night, just elevating the sour cream. I made a, a chipotle sour cream instead of just making, putting regular sour cream onto our tacos. That was also a HelloFresh thing. Well, this is our deck area. Actually, it's not even that far. It's not even cleaned up, which is nice, but we've got this mostly primed. It's just, I mean, like, it's, there's just two spots up there that are just so hard to get to. I don't, we need, oh, yeah. I don't know if we need a different ladder or what. No, that ladder will work. I just have to get up there and do it. I mean, you got way up there. I still have to do that side over there, too. Oh, yeah. Way up there. That was so hard to do and hot. Oh, so hot up there. This room, though, is, it's going to be such a, it's like, these sun ducts are like what make this house and give it the most character. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just so now that this is all clean, it's, a, it's such a bright, fun room. It's not very cozy right now. It's just mm. bright and hot. Very hot. The sun, I mean, that is the design of this house, is that this room gets warmed up, but it, all the heat just kind of comes and stops here because this wall. No, oh, what are you talking about? It heats up the whole house. Know, you just have to open the doors. And you have to let it ventilate, yeah? He's a little bit lighty. Hey, bud. How are you doing, big boy? Ah, uh, you are just such a handsome guy. He's so handsome. I hope that you remain chill and nice. I can't see. <laughs> stuck in a little box first thing in the morning. I'll, just, I'll take him outside and put a piece of wire up for him. <laughs> that was not how I wanted to wake up this morning. Nameless rooster. Got in the house. Bro, it was not a bad thing. What is going on? They're curious. Look at him. He really wants to get to the girls. You guys aren't ready yet. You just met. She really wants a mate. Hey, what's up, handsome? <laughs> Alright, girls. Get 
to know your new man. Okay. 